What does Excel, the amazingly powerful business app for calculations, have to do with dieting and weight loss? Well, plenty. In addition to its many other capabilities, Excel can be very useful when it comes to keeping track of the foods we eat. In fact, some of its features are perfect for this particular application. In this video, we are going to see how we can use Excel to keep a close eye on the foods we eat and how those foods may impact us. Also, we will learn about some really amazing features built into this amazing program. But first, if you haven't already done so, please take half a second to click the subscribe button below. It will really help us make more videos like this. Let's get started. If you want to follow along, click the link in the description below to download the Excel workbook file we'll be using. As you can see from the row of tabs at the bottom, there are many worksheets in this workbook. We'll be starting with a very simple application and gradually add more and more powerful features to it. The first thing we're going to do is create a diary or log of the foods we'll pretend to have eaten on a particular day. Click on the tab for the sheet named Log 1. We are going to create a table of different food items we'll pretend to have eaten. Let's start with the column headers at the top of the table. We'll click the cell A8 and we'll type the word date and then press the tab key to move to the right. Then we'll type meal and tab once again. And finally, we'll finish up the row with quantity, unit, item, calories, and carbs. As you can tell, we'll be keeping track of calories and carbs. We could also keep track of fats and proteins if you're interested in those particular measurements. Now we will enter some of the foods we have eaten. In this case, we'll start off the new year on a diet and see how long it lasts. Yeah, I know. <laughs> this, this year will be different, right? We'll type a date of January 1 and then hit the tab key and we'll start with breakfast. Let's say four ounces of orange juice. Okay, now we have to put in the nutritional information. We could look at the label on the orange juice carton or we could go to the internet. Let's do that. One of my favorite sites for this particular kind of data is called Calorie King. In fact, the link is right here on the worksheet. So we click it and then we enter orange juice. If you scroll down, you can see there are lots of different choices. For this exercise, let's just use a rather generic option. Now let's get the calories and carbs for a four ounce serving. If you click the list arrow, you can see there are a couple of different serving sizes, but none that match our four ounce serving. <laughs> no problem. Let's click the basic one ounce option. We have 14 calories and 3.2 grams of carbs. Now we have to multiply these numbers and some of us can do this in our heads, but not everybody. In any case, it's no problem. We have a nice calculator handy. After all, we're, we're using Excel, one of the most powerful calculating tools known to mankind. We'll click the program button in the taskbar at the bottom to switch back to Excel. And then if you click the tab for the converter sheet, you'll see some calculators. In the first calculator, we can enter one for one ounce and then 14 and 3.4. We can disregard the rest of that row. Then in the next row, we'll just enter four for four ounces. And there is our answer. We'll copy the two numbers. We'll select both cells and then type the shortcut control plus C. And we'll go back to the log one sheet by pressing the tab at the bottom and we'll paste in the values with the shortcut control plus V as in Victor. Oops, it looks like we pasted in the formula, but all we want are the values. Easily fixed, happens all the time. We'll just click the little paste options button and choose paste values. Much, much better. Next, we're gonna to pretend to have had some granola. We'll fix the first two cells later. We'll just have one ounce. We are on a diet after all. On the website, we have to search for granola cereal. Otherwise, we get a lot of granola bars. One ounce of generic granola has 139 calories and 15 carbs. No calculations necessary here. So we'll just switch back to our spreadsheet and type them in. And we need some milk. But how much? In the measuring cup, we poured out three ounces. By the way, when you are doing this diet, be sure to have a good measuring cup handy and a scale too. You'll be using them quite a bit. Now we'll add three ounces of milk. Then we'll switch back to our web browser. And according to the website, one ounce of whole milk has 18 calories and 1.6 carbs. We'll switch back to Excel and the converter. We enter one, 18 and 1.6. 
And then on the next row, we put three ounces. And there it is, 54 calories and 4.8 carbs. We'll copy them, switch back to log one, and paste them in as values. Now let's fill in those empty cells on the left. But first, let's fix the word date, which is italic for some reason. Let's click the cell and then click the italic button. Now, let's do some copying. We'll select both the date and meal values and we'll grab the fill handle. That's the little square at the lower right corner of the cell and we'll drag it down two rows. Nice, huh? Whoops, well, it incremented the dates. Now, sometimes we want a series of dates, but not now. We just want to copy the values. So we'll click the little fill options button and choose copy. Okay, you get the idea. Next, we're gonna add some coffee and sugar and more milk, and then some items for lunch and maybe a snack in the afternoon and then some dinner items. If you wanna see what a full day might look like, go to the sheet log two. Okay, so now we have an Excel sheet that lists all the foods we supposedly ate in one day. And I know what you're thinking. We could have just written these down on paper. So what's the advantage of using Excel? Well, one advantage of Excel is that we can copy and paste. If we have the same breakfast on Tuesday that we had on Monday, we can just copy those breakfast items from Monday and paste them in on Tuesday. That's nice, but here's the real advantage we can make use of Excel's amazing ability to calculate. Watch this bit of magic. All we have to do is select all the calories data for a given day and watch this. Look down at the status bar. There on the bottom is the sum for these selected cells. That's the total calories for a day. And we could do the same for a different day or for total carbs. Pretty nice, right? Well, hold on to your hats because we are just getting started. In our next video, we'll use some other amazing tools in Excel to make our dining a little bit easier. Be sure to click on the link below. And if you haven't done it already, please be kind and subscribe. That'll help us quite a bit. Thanks a lot, and we'll see you again soon.